So the other day I was enjoying my morning coffee and contemplating what was my best and worst tool purchase. There are many contenders for the best tool, but the outright winner for the worst tool is this little Shepard Banso I bought from Screwfix about four years ago. To be fair, some of these issues are my own making, but I should have just returned the saw as soon as I bought it. So the model is a Shepard HBS20, and straight out of the packaging, the base plate was bent and warped. Soon afterwards, the tensioning knob sheared off. And then the tyre started to fall off the blade, making the whole thing totally unusable. One of the previous issues I had with this was the lowering and raising mechanism for the blade guard. This is why I have a set of circlip pliers in my toolbox. And when the tyre came off, the blade wobble smashed the nylon blade guard in the centre of the table. All in all, it is quite a poor and disappointing tool. So I thought I would give it just one last go to redeem itself. And for this, I'm going to perform an emergency repair of the tyre by replacing it with electric insulation tape. A tip I have seen on YouTube. So firstly, I remove the wheel and the blade and the old tyre. And then I couldn't quite decide what to do. The options were to wind the tape just around the bare wheel or replace the old tyre and then secure it on with the tape. I decided to use the latter strategy. I replaced the existing tyre using the last of the elasticity that it had and then wound the electric tape around the wheel about six or seven times. Finally, cutting off with a sharp knife. And then running my hands around it a few times just to fold over the extra width of the tape. When I came to replace the wheel, I ensured that the end of the tape ran in the opposite direction to the blade so each time it revolved, the tape was pushed back into the wheel. I replaced the nut and tightened it down for a secure fit. The blade was then reinstalled and using a spanner, because the knob's broken, tightened up the top wheel for the tension. Eventually closing and locking the doors to activate the electronic system. Now let's plug it in and give it a try. That's the first time that the band saw us run for about 12 months without the blade falling off the wheel.
So for the last test, I just got some scrap plywood and made a few cuts. And it seems to be cutting fairly true. Now only time will tell how long this fix lasts. My long term plan is to bring the record bandsaw I have in the small loft workshop. Thank you for watching, I hope this has been useful. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. See you soon.